you will see the urn and be allowed to take a small pinch of the ashes for yourself. If not... I die. Okay. Before you go, there is something I must ask. I see that the path that led you here was not easy. There is suffering in your past. Your suffering, and the suffering of others. You betrayed Jowen to Irving. He was almost killed, and he lost the one thing that mattered. Lily, Jowen trusted you. Tell me, do you think you failed Jowen? He was a traitorous bastard. John brought it on himself by dabbling in blood magic. Then you do not dwell on past mistakes. Neither yours, nor someone else's. Nope. It's easy for others to judge what you've done in hindsight, but it doesn't make it any better. One wonders what this Guardian's purpose is. Be wary of his traps. Arshera, leave the past where it falls. You are too hard on yourself. No one's perfect. Is there any religion that does not thrive upon guilt, like a glutton at his lunch? No, I thought not. And what of those that follow you? Alistair, Knight, and Warden. You wonder if things would have been different if you were with Duncan on the battlefield. You could have shielded him from the killing blow. You wonder, don't you, if you should have died and not him. I... Yes. If Duncan had been saved, and not me, everything would be better. If I just had the chance, maybe I... Demand whatever answers you want, spirit. You came to this land as an observer. But you killed a family in a blind rage. Have you failed your people by allowing a Quinari to be seen in that light? I have never denied that I failed. And you, Morrigan, Flemeth's daughter, what? Be gone, spirit. I will not play your games. I will respect your <laughs> wishes. The way is open. Good luck, and may you find what you seek. Yep, yep. I remember this. Echoes from a shadow realm. Whispers of things yet to come. Thought strange sister dwells in night. Is swept away by dawning light. Of what do I speak? <laughs> Dreams? I don't know. A dream came upon me as my daughter slumbered beneath my heart. It told of her life, and of her betrayal and death. I am sorrow and regret. I am a mother weeping bitter tears for a daughter she could not save. It doesn't matter. If you get it wrong, they attack you. If you get it right, they just go away. Pretty much that. The smallest lark could carry it. While a strong man might not. Of what do I speak? Plague. That is not of what I speak. A tune? Yep, and they attack. So it doesn't really matter if you're an eye for an eye, a tooth for a Vengeance. tooth. The debt of blood must be paid in full. Of what do I speak? Vengeance. <laughs> yes, my husband Hesarian would have chosen a quick death for Andraste. I made him swear that she would die publicly with her war leaders, that all would know the Imperium's strength. Awesome. I am justice. I am vengeance. Blood can only be repaid in blood. Uh, 
I'd neither a guest nor a trespasser be. In this place I belong, that belongs also to me. Of what do I speak? <sighs> Death. That is not of what I speak. Easy ones. <laughs> the bones of the world stretch towards the sky's embrace, veiled in white, like a bride greeting her groom. Of what do I speak? Uh. That is not of what I speak. Nope. of the soul, passion's cruel counterpart. From love she grows, till love lies slain. Of what do I speak? Jealousy. Yes, jealousy drove me to betrayal. I was the greatest general of the Alamani, but beside her I was nothing. Hundreds fell before her on bended knee. They loved her, as did the Maker. I loved her too. But what man can compare with a god? Okay. She wields the broken sword and separates true kings from tyrants. Of what do I speak? Mercy. Yes. I could not bear the sight of Andraste's suffering, and Mercy bade me end her life. I am the penitent sinner, who shows compassion as he hopes compassion will be shown to him. No man has seen it, but all men know it. Lighter than air, sharper than any sword, comes from nothing but will fell the strongest armies. Of what do I speak? Hunger. Yes, hunger was the weapon used against the wicked men of the Teventer Imperium. The Maker kindled the sun's flame, scorching the land. Their crops failed, and their armies could not march. Then he opened the heavens and bade the waters flow, and washed away their filth. I am Kefer, disciple of Andraste and commander of her armies. I saw these things done and knew the Makers smiled on us. Crazy. Had fun with the riddle game? What now? More tricky spirits? I didn't think I'd fool you. But am I really a spirit? Or is all this in your mind? Are you in the Fade, perhaps? No. Honestly, I don't know. I am part of the Gauntlet. I am Jowan. I am you. All these statements are true. <laughs> and what is your purpose? To speak to you and to offer advice. You have come so far since I saw you last. The last vestiges of your shackled life in the Circle have all but fallen away. You are free of the past and nothing will hold you back. Be strong, my friend. Do not falter. I have something for you. Use it well. It makes me happy, knowing you will be the mage that I never could. Hey. Blah, blah. Oh, yeah. I remember this. Enemies approach! I must 
must kill myself. I must kill myself. Uh-oh. I'm terrible at puzzles. All right. Hey, you see those thingies over on the side of that huge chasm? I bet they're used... <laughs> I think it's solid enough to stand on, but 